Light sail is a solar sail, and so a solar sail gets its propulsion capability from the sun. When a solar sail is in orbit, the sun's constantly pushing on it with solar pressure, and you can use that to modify the orbit. Light sail one was specifically to demonstrate the solar sail deployment technique and to verify that the CubeSat worked as expected, and that was fully successful. But we did have some problems with it. Software issues with the spacecraft and LightSail 1 was completely uncontrolled. LightSail 2 will be the first solar sailing mission that can actually reorient itself relative to the sun and control its orbital energy. Our project is very small. We're sponsored by the Planetary Society. We have a few different organizations involved. I manage the project for the Planetary Society and I'm, I'm a professor here at Purdue University. And we also do modeling and simulation of the trajectory and the spacecraft orientation. And we'll also help with operating the mission here at Purdue. The satellite has to perform two maneuvers each orbit. And what those maneuvers are is essentially a turn so that when it's moving towards the sun, it's sort of feathered so that the sun isn't pushing on it. But when it's moving away from the sun, it's presenting as much area as possible to the sun so that we maximize the thrust. And so my work has been modeling those two turns so that we can make sure that they're happening correctly in the right direction. The Planetary Society is the largest space advocacy group in the world. In addition to their space advocacy, they also occasionally do some space technology development as well. And solar sailing uh, is one of their key priorities, and that really goes back to Carl Sagan, who was one of the initial founders. There's a just tremendously exciting prospect called solar sailing. Solar this, sailing. And this is a, uh, a very crude model, and which travels on the radiation and particles that come out of the sun, the wind from the sun. The advantage of a solar sail is that the sun is shining all of the time, so there's always that source of thrust, and it's the acceleration from a solar sail is admittedly very slow, but if you're patient, you can build up quite a large velocity over time. Solar sailing for decades has been something that planetary scientists, engineers have wanted to uh, capitalize upon to be able to achieve science mission objectives or you know, space mission objectives like detecting solar storms. All of those things are achievable with solar sailing. So I'll be very interested from a technical perspective to, uh, to compare how the simulation compares to uh, the actual performance of the satellite on orbit, but also sort of beyond that, I think it'll be very rewarding to be able to say that I contributed to a piece of space hardware.